you? I'm fine. Thank you. That's great. Well, actually, the reason of this call is to notify you that I have received your profile here. And it shows me that you are our good customer. And you never miss your payment. You pay your bills on time, right? Yes. So, on behalf of your good payment history and good credibility, your profile has been qualified for the lower interest rate on your credit card, okay? Okay. Okay, right now, what I see as the interest rate you are paying is more than 11%. Our management has decided to drop down your interest rate. So, your new interest rate is going to be less than 6% and it will remain fixed for the rest of your life, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, right now, before the activation of lower interest rate, we have basic criteria for verification to make sure that we are dropping the interest rate on the same credit card or for the right primary card holder. As a primary card holder, can you verify me the date of birth? Yes. Can you verify me the date of birth, sir? Uh, could you repeat that, please? Sorry? Could you repeat the last? Can you verify me the date of birth, your happy birthday? Oh, my day of birth. Yes, sir. It's uh, June 6th. June, June 6th? 1966. 1966. 66. 66. Sorry? 1966. Okay, okay. And I believe uh, your card is not going to be expired for the next 12 months. Can you verify me the expiration date on your card? Certainly. It's uh, coincidentally also uh, June the 6th. 2016. Like, do you have your card with you? Yes, I have it with me. Uh, which card are you holding right now? It's a golden visa. Okay. And what, what, like, uh, what is the expiration date? You tell me. June the sixth, 2016. Oh, June the 16th, right? Yes. And if you look above the expiration date, there must be a number is starting with 4 or 5? Yes. Can you verify me? Yes, it is. Can you read me those numbers? Yes, just give me one second please. Uh, someone is knocking at the door. Okay. At the time, the door is coming. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Can you read me the number is starting with four five? Four five nine six nine six six. Four five six nine six six. Yes. What is the number? Pardon me. Like that six? Yes. Like there is a long 16 number, sir. There is a long 16 number on the front side. On the front side. Okay. There uh, is a long 16 number starting with 4, 5. Yes. Well, you know what? I, uh, I'm i just teasing you. I know you are a fraud a phone call, so stop <laughs> fucking with me, okay? Don't phone again. I don't fall with your bullshit. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Fuck you too. I don't I don't care where you come from. I mean your call comes from India or maybe you are ISIS and you're phoning from Syria or something. I don't fucking care. You are Balawa? Bueno. Yo soy Juan Zabaleta, artista visual multidisciplinario. Visiten mi página juanzabaleta.com y visiten mi canal de YouTube Juan Zabaleta. Piensen en esto. Como pudieron haber escuchado, Canadá está, como muchos otros países, bajo el ataque permanente de llamadas SCAM, 
de llamadas telefónicas scam. Hasta el acento ni siquiera se les entiende. Esas llamadas son hechas desde India, desde Pakistán, desde Afganistán, probablemente desde Siria, como le dije al final al idiota, bien pueden ser eh, miembros de ISIS tratando de recopilar dinero a través de robar los números de las tarjetas de crédito de los incautos. Lo triste es que sí hay mucha gente que cae, sobre todo los de la muy vieja generación, los ancianos que están aquí en Canadá por cientos de miles, viviendo en sus edificios de departamentos dedicados únicamente para los retirados, o algunos inmigrantes que todavía son bastante ignorantes con respecto a todas estas cosas. Yo me divertí un poco con ustedes, quería que lo vieran, no espero que hayan entendido una sola palabra porque hasta para mí se me hizo muy difícil entenderlo. Pero esas son llamadas scam. Y siempre que llaman, nunca les contesto porque mi, mi teléfono tiene su pantallita en donde se puede ver el número que está llamando. Y tiene un, eh, un tono de, de llamado un ringtone. Eh, diferente para cada llamada y cuando son llamadas desconocidas suena de cierta manera, yo ya lo reconozco entonces pues nunca les contesto pero cuando les contesto los hago rabiar y luego es muy chistoso porque me empiezan a insultar en su idioma, que no sé qué, qué idioma sea no sé si es árabe o hindú o porque pues eh, empiezan a insultarme muy, muy fuerte no me da mucha risa quería compartírselos antes de pasar a lo serio nos vemos más tarde con más videos. Piensen en ello.